hi all let us learn some other uh, numerical standard analysis equation let us solve some of the problems problem number 4 an electrochemical cell consists of a copper electrode dipped in 0.5 molar copper sulfate and silver electrode dipped in 0.25 molar silver nitrate solution write the cell scheme half cell and net cell reactions also calculate the emf given that srps of copper and silver are 0.34 and 0.80 volts respectively how to calculate so first let us write the cell representation of this electrochemical cell so cell can be represented like this cu slash cu s4 of 0.5 molar concentration double slash ag no3 of 0.25 molar concentration slash silver that means here the copper sulfate is in contact with copper electrode is in contact with the copper solution of concentration phi in turn which is connected to the another electrolyte silver nitrate uh, having the concentration of 0.25 molar which is in turn contact with the silver electrode cell reactions first let us go to the half cell reactions anode reaction so uh, you know that at anode oxidation occurs that is cu gives rise to cu2 plus plus two electron two electrons gets released out removed cathode reaction so we all know that always a, a cathode reduction reaction occurs that is 2 ag plus plus two number of electrons gives 2 ag overall reaction cu plus 2 ag plus gives cu2 plus plus 2 ag formula to calculate the emf e equals e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log cathodic species divided by anodic species that is cathodic species silver ions anodic species are copper ions and therefore so in the place of cathodic species and anodic species i have substituted the silver and copper ions respectively that is e equals e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of ag plus square divided by cu2 plus concentration so let us first solve the uh, calculate e not of the cell so uh, using the same previously used formula e not cell equals e not cathode minus e not anode cathode is as i said here it is a silver so the value is given in the problem itself it is 0.80 anode is copper ions so here copper ion concentration also is given in the problem itself it is 0.34 so the e not cell becomes 0.46 volts with the help of this let us determine or calculate the e emf of the cell it is e equals 0.46 plus 0.0591 divided by 2 2 means here number of electrons 2 2 electrons are involved log of 0.25 square divided by 0.5 that is the molar concentration of a silver ion and molar concentration of a copper ion so on the simplification we will get this as e equals 0.46 plus 0.0591 divided by 2 log ratio becomes this 0.125 further simplification it gives e equals 0.46 minus of 0.026 and at the end we will get the emf as 0.433 volts so this is the emf of the cell we'll move to the next one fifth problem compute the cell potential of a cell containing silver ions in contact with silver electrode and copper electrode which is in contact with the copper ions if the concentration of silver ions and copper ions are 4.2 into 10 power minus 6 molar and 1.3 into 10 power minus 3 molar respectively given that e not of silver plus slash silver equals 0.80 volts and e not of cu2 plus slash cu is 0.34 volts so answer let us use the same formula the previously used formula only here e equals e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of cathodic species to the anode species we have to find out which axis cathode which axis anode here in the beginning so let us solve the first one e not cell e not cell equals e not cathode minus e not anode cathodic is silver anodic is copper e not cell equals e of silver minus e not of copper as given the formula 
E naught cell equals E naught of silver is uh, 0 0.80, copper is 0 0.34 volts. And therefore, the answer is 0 0.46 volts. Then, further, let us solve E of the cell, that is EMF. So, E equals E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by N log silver square plus CO2 plus N. Here, E equals 0 0.46, that is previously obtained value, plus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 log of the concentration of a silver ions is 4.2 into 10 power minus 6 square divided by copper ions concentration. It is given in the problem 1.3 into 10 power minus 3. So for the simplification, E equals 0 0.46 plus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 log of so if you simplify the ratio, logarithmic ratio, it becomes 13.56 into 10 power minus 9. Further simplification of all the three, that is 0 0.0591 divided by 2 into logarithm ratio of 13.56 into 10 power of minus 9, it gives minus 0 0.232 volts. And therefore it becomes E equals 0 0.46 minus 0 0.232. And further it is at the end, the E is 0 0.23 volts. This is how we have to calculate the problems.